FIFA World Cup 2018. No why Argentina is a team made of more than just Messi, Argentina's misery is not Messi. Before you even start reading, you need to understand, this is written with a neutral point of view, there is nothing in person I have for Messi or against Ronaldo. As a neutral fan, don't expect me coming like yeah, they both are legends in their own positions, hell, no. The sad fact that remains unchanged at the end of the day is, people knowingly or unknowingly make football only about these two, it's like football starts and ends with their competition. And now in the World Cup also, we had managed to make it a case of expectation versus reality when Portugal managed to make a comeback and Leo missed a penalty. This time let's just keep our historical memories to ourselves and judge the players as a team, and not Messi or Ronaldo. What is the team about, with ability comes great responsibility. Argentina might be not a disappointment after failing to show their quality on the real day. If you're thinking that brings down the morale of the team, how about you see the opposite horizon of bouncing back, cause that's what team Argentina's all about this World Cup. A probable weakness, their flying defense. Well, Argentina's defense has had problems holding their defensive lines, and maybe that is why they had conceded within four minutes after they scored. Although we can't blame the lines as the goal had been scored from a rebound, the aging Argentina defense will look to use the experience as a standing weapon against oppositions. This is Sampoli's team, not Messi's. Jorge Sampoli's managerial success has been a reason behind being appointed to drive Argentina towards glory. It's his forte to take underestimated contenders like Chile to win Copa America. Yes, Argentina's a very different team when it comes to pressing high up the pitch. Sampoli's way of allowing Messi to be on the free roam looks more of a burden and less independent. You cannot be a visionary and execute the vision every time, and as a fan, we don't want that burden on him. Angel Di Maria, Argentina's much needed angel, after Angel Di Maria's transfer to PSG, he delivered 6 assists and 11 goals within 26 matches last season. Doesn't look good enough, does it? Angel Di Maria is one of the very few players who has been able to rebuild his image after being a failure at Manchester United. His determination towards the national team is undying as he believes that if they don't win it this time, it'll be the end for their generation. Sergio Lionel Canegero's gameplay The Argentine under Sampoli has finally broken his drought in Russia this World Cup. Earlier when he had played the World Cup in 2010 and 14, the Manchester City striker was unable to click with Argentina's gameplay. But now that he has already broken the ice, it would not be easy to stop him. Paolo Dybala, young and Messi-like. Dybala's like Messi's young replica, although the Juventus star has said that it won't be easy to match his level, the Argentinian has been exceptional with his game. The spark he adds to any attack is worth watching. In fact, Sampoli is working hard to make Dybala compatible with Messi, as both play in the same position. Gonzalo Higuain, why him? You might be thinking, why I would prefer him over many strikers. Well after 2014, Gonzalo Higuain has changed a lot. He's not only become a player looking to make a mark but also cruising his team towards the victory. It was because of his exploiting performance in Napoli, that Italian giant, Juventus, had to buy him out to keep the Italian title and ever since Juventus have been the undefeated series of champions. If you still don't believe, this is one way of showing you that Higuain is ready for the World Cup. Let's come to the point, shall we? The fight here is against the teams and not among the players. We have made our football fanaticism a religion, and now we're uplifting it like a supporter. But to make fun of a legend as the other ones shining is a very wrong ideology. It's high time we stop considering ourselves as football pundits and enjoy the game. Let it go.